All right, so we're going to work on the leg right now. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to pick another cylinder, and we are going to create the cylinder from the ground up here. Oops, that's my maps here. Um, and then pretty much move the cylinder. I'm going to move it about the ankle, and I'm going to raise it all the way up to... Uh, let's see here. I'm going to raise it all the way up to the beginning of the hip here. And, and I don't need 12 by any means. I'm going to drop it down to about 8. And I think 8 should be good enough to get a basic leg down. Um, we're going to collapse this into an edible poly. Um, and hit X so we can see through it. And let's uh, view this up here. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is, actually, you know what? I'm going to undo this edible poly. Um, now that I've got this torso done here, um, a really simple way to fix this is figure out how much space I'm going to need. So this way I don't have to kind of go through and cut everything apart. Um, so starting here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the back. 8 and it looks like 9, 10. So let's go up to. Um, so this should be good. Now let's convert this to an edible poly. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the top and I'm going to cut that and um, we'll go from there and I'll, I'll work in that in a second. But so what we're going to do here is with this, this top cut. Um, I'm basically going to take this rim here and I'm going to arc this up like this and I'm going to scale it bigger and I'm going to move it roughly around to something like so. Okay, And that's just the, the uh, front area there. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to go and move the geometry like so and you can scale this wider or smaller and again we're only doing this side here so I'm gonna move this down like so and I'm gonna move this and move it over make it a little bit bigger and we're gonna scale this down quite a bit Move it over, scale it just a little bit wider, and scale, and so. So this is our our leg here. Now, if you notice, I'm going to just kind of tweak some of this here. If you notice, there's a couple of spots in here that it just is it's not going to line up real real great. So what you want to do is I want to add in another quick slice like so and I'm going to just pull this area out all right and pull this out just a hair and then down here I'm going to add in another quick slice now generally I don't use quick slices a whole lot um, the reason you don't want to use a quick slice is because if you're doing a, a real complex mesh um, it can cut through a lot and just add a ton of geometry that you don't want but since I'm in the basic stages right now uh, I'm okay with it. So for now, I'm just gonna oops, I'm gonna quick slice again one more time. And let's just move this in like so and like so. Okay, so for the most part, this is pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with the front shape of the leg. Let's go back and let's work on the side of the leg here. Now side of the leg is let's grab this this top one here. And we're going to scale this out and move it back. Um, this one we're going to scale out and move back a little bit bigger. And sometimes it's easier just to move it first so that it's centered and then scale accordingly. And this one back 
That one didn't really need much. So let's move this back here. And move this back. So far we're doing okay here. Let's move this like so. And I'm just going to add another first slice down here just to get this pushed a little bit back. this back a little bit like this. Alright, and that's pretty much how to do the basics of the leg. So if I look at this in the perspective mode, uh, let's take a look with this off, you get a relatively decent sized leg. Now, we want to change this up for animation, and you should check out the video um, that I did on animating joints. So, but for now, since we probably will put this in mud box a little bit later, um, I think this is a good, um, a good base. Actually, it looks down here like this can be didn't take for some reason. And let's shrink this in. So that's the good uh, a good base. Now, um, actually. Right. For some reason, that's not working right. So let's just. Oh, that's why. There we go. I'm just gonna move this in like so. Okay. So now what we have is I'm gonna just build a a block style foot. Um, so what I'm gonna do is the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, this is gonna seem kind of weird, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the bottom piece here, like so, and I'm going to extrude this downward. Okay, and I'm going to extrude it downward to about there. I'm going to rotate this at about a 45 degree angle, and I'm going to place it accordingly. And I can go in and scale and do whatever I need to do, but for now I'm going to just extrude again, and hit extrude. And let's extrude this, and that's going to extrude it down. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to rotate it completely like this. Move this over here and flatten that out and move this down. So that gives me my basic foot. Okay. So, and then I'm going to move this a little bit over, okay? So this is my basic foot. Now, it doesn't look like, like much right now, um, but it gives you the basic foundations of what your foot needs to have in it so that it can bend, okay? And so most problems is when you most people attach just extrude their foot out, outward um, from the geometry. And I've always found that it, it really does funky things to the heel when you animate it. So this is why I do it this way. Okay, so and then let's go back into the geometry mode here. And then we pretty much just start moving geometry where we need it. All right, and let's move this up. All right, so this here is, comes down. And I'm going to move this right now. I'm going to move this out like so. And I'll show you why in a second. And for the most part, this is my foot. Okay, now one of the things that you need to understand is that the foot curves downward. So let's uh, take and move this one a little bit down and this one a little bit down as well. And so there we've got that now. Um, let's just move this up a little bit. And then this is going to be a little bit stronger, so we'll move this out. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is take this and this and just move them a little bit out so that our foot has some stuff to grab onto. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to grab this and you're going to loop it. Then you're going to chain for that loop. 
like so. And then take the points that you chain for and move them however you need them. All right. So this gives you now a nice heel joint that you can work with. All right. Then what you're going to do is you are going to, or we're going to make like a booted foot um, for this particular model. And I'll show you how to do the toes, but I'll do them in the hands instead. Toes and hands, same concept, just need to kind of work with it. So we're just going to quick slice this. See now, watch, look up on the, the top viewport. And if I'm doing a quick slice like this, just perfectly diagonal, you see how it's actually cutting into the side of the leg. So you always want to pay attention to quick slice. So I'm just going to quick slice one more time, add in some more geometry, and let's go in and start kind of collapsing this down. And then basically what you're going to do is, let's um, move this here. Um, I'm going to grab this, move it in a little bit more. And then basically you just go in and start shaping the foot. Um, you know, one of the things that you can do with when you're shaping the foot is, you know, first of all, take and move these inner pieces here outward a little bit more. Um, Let's do these two, same kind of aspect. And then when we come down here, we're going to have, let's just cut this real quick. And we're going to just cut this as far as we can go across here, cut once, across here, cut once, and then across here and cut once. And now this isn't the greatest way to do this. Um, actually, let's show you another way. Uh, another way we can do this is we can cut pretty much up like this. We can cut down like this and we can cut diagonal. Okay. And I'll show you what that's going to do in a second here. But now what we can do Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the foot here, zoom in on this. All right, so then from here, you can actually take these and start diagonaling them out. So if this is your front toe, let's just move this up here, and then this can come back here. Let's move this over and up, and then back. And so, so that should create a basic average foot. And again, you know, when you get bad things like this, go in and turn them. So we want to turn this one, and we want to turn this one right here. So that's kind of a, a baseline foot. I mean, it's not perfect, but again, you can go in and add as much geometry as you want. You can go in and, and tweak and, and manipulate and do what you need to do to get it working for you. And let's see here. And then we're just going to move this one a little bit forward. And let's like so. So there's there's your base foot. Now you want to go in and flatten it out. Um, you know, I would put a uh, I would put a ring here. Um, I would just cut into this right here, like so. And I'll show you. Go around here. And let's cut this in here. And then this being the way it is, I would just go in here, choose this, loop it, and let's actually use this and chain for it by just 
something like that. And let's add two in there. Say collapse. And then we can go in here, this chamber, and just pull out these joints. And those will give you the ankles. So like so. So and again, you know, you have to play and tweak and do what you want. But that gives you the, the basic joint as a in a nutshell. And you can actually cut this in the toes or whatnot, whatever you need. Um, and you can go in here and add in more definition in the knee. But for now, this is this is fine. So then what you're gonna do um, is again go back to polygon mode, go here, and in polygon mode. What you're going to do is you're going to attach again. Um, again, we're doing the torso that way. That we're going to do our torso that way when we attach, like so. Our torso is or our leg is added to both sides. And again, go to vertex. Let's just start going through and collapsing what you think you need here. and so forth and so on. And let's add this one here. And there's basically your torso. Now what you can do is once that's done, you probably want to add in, you know, a little bit more of the, the butt ridge. So what I would do is go here. Oops, that one ring, and then chamfer. Ooh, uh, wrong. Sorry, connect, um, and then add that connect here, and then you can go add this and pull that out here, and just start adding in more of a, a shape there. So, and that's something that you can do. All right, and that's the leg. All right, next we'll do the arm.